not accept this shit. No, I want my woman back. We live in a life of crime, lies, deceit, this Lord's fake niggas fucked up the streets with all this poison. Anything pop off, motherfuckers recording it. Broke bitches choice. Damn, my mama warned me. Damn, I should have listened. Saying the truth. I don't mind speaking the truth. I don't mind telling you what really happened. So let's go ahead and get into it because um hold on. I think I forgot to bring up a link. I forgot to bring up a link. Let me go ahead and get that link going right quick. All right. So, like I said, shout out to the father of my child because he had a live interview last night with um, Nick at Night. And though there were like some things that was... Yes, mama. Yeah, your daddy said a lot of things. Well, we're going to address them today. All right. Yeah, and it's not really a response video, y'all. Is basically, I just want to clear up certain things because some people, if they go keep going with the same story, <laughs> if they keep going with the same story that people produce and it's not true, ma'am, <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> going with the same story, it's not true. They they're gonna have the wrong. The wrong, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, baby, you don't even have a wet diaper. All right, you see mommy doing this. You see mommy with a big screen. That's why you want to be over here. Okay, that's fine. All right. Let's see. This is why. This is why. Okay. Now, and I only have a few. I only have like a, a certain limit of time to do this, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it going. And I'm still learning how to use the Streamyard thing. So yeah, just give me one second, okay? Yeah, getting that one ready just in case, but I don't have time to scroll through it. So, okay, how old is she now? She's eight months. <laughs> She's eight months. All right, so um, I don't know if I can make anyone a moderator in here. So, hey, it is what it is. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. So for one, let's go ahead and bring this up. I like this series. I, I feel like I'm going to have fun with it. <laughs> I'm going to get more better with this stream yard stuff and uh, live streaming. They said Grand Rise and Azuli. All right, let's go ahead and see. So for the first video, let's pull this up really quick. How I do that? There we go. File. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. Let's share this right quick. All right. There we go. Can everyone see this? Can anyone see this? Right quick. This right here. This right here. Because then can everyone see this one right here? Let me know if you can see it. Let me know if you can see it, y'all. It's my first time using it. Yes, we see. Okay, awesome. So this was brought up in Neek at Night's um, interview last night. All right. So this video is basically, it says, and shout out to, I don't know how to say her name, but Stin so Sonas, the soup. I don't know. Sorry. I, so I apologize if I butchered your name, lovely. But this is Solar Takes Interior, the girlfriend, and Soka Struggles. All right. So around this time right here, this wasn't when we broke up. He, 
this guy right here has a hard time remembering things or he has a warped sense of reality sometimes. So I'm going to just remind you, beloved, okay? This wasn't when we broke up. This is actually around the time we kind of first got together. And we were together, all of us were together, me, Zoka, and Solar, Courtney, John Marie. We were all together, all right, for possibly, I want to say a day or two or three. I don't know. It was around a, around a, a, a week's time, so some days. But we just finally, this this episode right here, y'all like to call it Real Nigga Moments episodes, right? Uh, around this time, we were just coming out that we was a polygamous couple, okay? This was not around the time we just broke up. All right, let's go ahead and watch it. I, I don't need to be here because you're good. You're here, no. You don't need me. Is that a healthy perspective? Ah! For shipping your thoughts. I want to do more for you now. All right, I'm gonna pause it right here. So she's talking about how she's an Aries something, something, and a Virgo North Node, and all this good stuff. All right, so Jayon Marie, okay, Zoka was not um, wanting the polygamy as much as, you know. The, the tribe wanted for her, or Alihio wanted for her, or Solar wanted for her, or even I wanted to be in with them. You know, she didn't really want it. She was having struggles with, you know, jealousy, having struggles with, you know, sharing a man. She didn't really necessarily want to do it. It's only because she did it only because Alihio Bishop kept telling her, and I believe Solar kept telling her that it's a part of what carbonation do. Polygamy is something that we should be, you know, striving to teach the collective, the the that that needs to know that uh, polygamy is the way. It's about tribe building, nation building, generational wealth, whatever. So she felt, Jayon Marie felt as if she needed to be that, do that, um, and uh, just be the example to. Get rid of the generational curses or whatnot. That's what they were preaching to her. So this is why she looks like this. She looks sad. And for me, as you can see over here, I'm just trying to like, you know, <clears throat> trying to go with the punches, trying to comfort her, trying to be like, all right, well, I mean, if this is what we're doing, well, this is what we're doing. And we're finally coming out. So I'm just like, okay, I'm getting with the, the program. So let's continue. Actually evolving into your supreme being. And you'll hear Elijio Bishop in the background just trying to convince her how, you know, how powerful of a move this is. And all that comes to my mind is lower self. Me acting out and doing things. Like, I even, like, they were having sex, and I even pushed her. Like, I was like, no, you're doing too much. I was like, oh. <laughs> wait a minute, let me tell you. Wow. <laughs> All right, so now you're going to hear from Solar's point of view what happened. All right, so basically, what happened, what's going on is it was brought to the attention. Zoka just admitted that while we were all having intercourse with each other, me, Zoka, and Solar, that she pushed me during the during the intercourse. So what happened? What really happened? Let's go. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I'm just as lost as you all might be, or maybe y'all might be ahead of me. I, I don't know what's going on with these mofos. I heard last night that the law got caught. Sorry, my husband always decides to mow when I do a video. 
Oh, I want to tell it. I want to tell it. I want to tell it. I'll fight at this point. 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 I'll fight at
they don't make sense to me. I don't fight. I don't fight in that crew, all right? Never have fought in that crew, which y'all... Here you go, mama. She, her um, tablet. Mama, 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 All right, I had to put on her, uh, Gracie's corner. Why you always lying? He's sitting here talking about a cat fight broke out and I, I hit her and no, that never happened. When she pushed me off, I literally was like, uh, all right, nah, what is going on here? Like, no, no, that's not happening here. I ain't get buck with her. I, my classy self stood back and was like, nah, like, we're not doing that. This is not how this is not how we rolling. I ain't do nothing to you. So that's what happened. Okay. What happened is they were getting intimate. He was intimate with her, thrusting her, and he was kissing me while it was happening. She saw that. She turned around, saw that, and pushed me off of him. That's what happened. All right. So I and here's the thing. I don't need to be talking about the sex life anymore. That's not something I really want to go into. But to have uh, di a direct narrative that I was violent with this woman was is not going to fly with me. That's never the case, okay? I've never hit any of those women in the tribe. Never, ever, ever. The only time you've ever seen me uh, they invoking some kind of negative energy is that one time with that, that guy was caught on camera with Malia. Malia. I literally, that was the only time that I have ever invoked some negative energy towards those women, ever, okay? Whenever that time in, when we were flying to like through the islands of Puerto Rico and he wanted us to fight Malia, me and Eferu, he literally came up to us and said, look, I want you to scare her, act, act it out. I want you to scare her so you know she'll be in submission. submission. Never did I ever touch that woman. All right. Why you always lying? Why you fucking lying? Oh my God. <laughs> Stop fucking lying. Jesus Christ. All right. That, let's, that, that's the narrative. Yeah, I remember that on the balcony. Yes, exactly. That I'm, I'm a sweetheart. I don't, I don't like to fight. When they, when they, when Malia hit, Zoka this one time and all the women jumped on Zoka. I was the only one that didn't fucking run over there and stomp on the girl. And then I got in trouble for that. He was like, oh, so you not about to hit her? You not about to jump her when I, when, when, when she acted now? And I'm like, uh, I didn't know that's how we get down, but now I know now. But I'm not going to do all that. I don't fight. Like Michael J say, I'm a lover, not a fighter. No, I don't do that. But I will if I have to. All right, then. Now, moving forward. Fucking lying. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's go to the next video because I'm timed on this. All right. I, I'm going to keep doing these videos. Oh, because I love them. I love, I love giving clarity on situations that happen in carbonation. Because guess what? A lot of commentary people, a lot of people that actually also was in the tribe don't really know what happened when I saw it every day. I will tell you what happened from a beautiful perspective that you can actually envision, like literally. All right. This is what happened. All right. All right. Let's keep going. And if you have any questions in the chat, let's let, just let me know. I'm going to keep going. Okay. It says, let's see. Let's see. My observation is that the most of the people that at the, a polygamous cult was actually monogamous and liked to fuck around, but in actuality, no one was practicing polygamy properly. No one, no, no, no one was pr um, practicing polygamy properly. Uh, if you can go to my interview with DJ Genesis and the women on the panel were talking about, it's the women that choose the women, not the men. And I actually absolutely agree with that. You know, but I'm not polygamous anymore. I've done my shares of polygamy, and I'm good on that. You know, 
And oh, I could also try to pull at that up as well. Um, the video when she got um, the jumped, I, I, I guess, jumped by the women. I can pull that up as well and give you all the, the backstory on that. No problem, Janae. I hope you was I wasn't too harsh. This was a while back. Yeah, you were. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's, no, no, you wasn't harsh. You wasn't too harsh at all. You just, you know, speaking your opinions, and that's fine. Everyone has um everyone has a right to their opinion, you know what I'm saying? But I just want y'all to understand me. That's all. That's why I'm doing these things because there's a narrative going on in the internet of who I am. And I don't like this narrative because that's not who I am. And I'm going to show you who I am. I finally get to show you who I truly am with my Gemini moon self. Why are you always lying, Courtney? Jesus Christ. <laughs> he makes my He makes my blood boil a certain type of red. I'll tell you, it might, it's probably not even red anymore. It's probably fucking purplish orange, purplish blue, pink, brown, something. Let's see. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, you and Velvet need to humble him, put him on child support and let the system. Yeah, I'm not gonna address this. Um, He thinks he's a guru. Outsmarting the system. It's not that easy to put someone on child support who just has no stable place to get served. I'll let you know that. No stable income, nothing. Like, it's not that easy, you know? And that's something I had to realize after trying to go off and look into it, you know what I'm saying? Like, this and try to do something about it, you know? So I just, I do what I can. I let God do whatever God does with me. Um, I, whatever blessings I get is from God <laughs> and I, I do all, I do the work. I, I, I created this child. I do the work. If you don't feel that way, that's on him. You know, um, he was doing too much on Nick and Knights. Well, let's keep going. All right. Let's keep going y'all. So we explained that. Why you always lie? <laughs> Oh man, I'm going to love this series. <laughs> Y'all put a thumbs up in the chat if you're going to like this series with me. Go ahead. I'll put a one in the chat, not thumbs up. Put a one in the chat if you're going to love this series. What really happened with Janae Alexandria? Let's go. What really happened, y'all? All right, let's go ahead and get to the next video. Why are you always... <laughs> <laughs> oh man god is great all right let's go ahead moving forward dun, 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 dun. we have the next video if i can learn how to stop sharing all right i'm here for it too let's go i've been waiting for this i've been waiting to get on my own platform to speak my own 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 stories okay i've been waiting <sighs> let's go Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Um, so next we have this right here. Dun, 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 dun. This was also shown at Nick and Knight's. Um, what was that? Nick and Knight's interview. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this. What? What really happened? Dun dun dun. No, not the. All right. And that has something to do with your son, uh, Square Jupiter. I know a little about him. Okay, I want y'all to notice. <laughs> I want y'all to notice my whole face expression, and I'm gonna get into why. Because I didn't put myself into this. Why are you always lying? I didn't put myself into this. This day, I want you, I want you to notice my facial expressions, y'all. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> that shows everything. That was genius. Look at this, y'all. I'm fed up with this. I didn't put myself into this. They was having a meeting. They was having a meeting about how... She didn't want to be with him. She was like tired of him or something like that. 
they they went off and changed their clothes for the 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 Dr. Bishop episode. I just stayed in my dashiki. He had on a red dashiki before I had on I happened to have on this blue dashiki. We both had dashikis that day. She went off and you know changed and put a flower in hair and everything like that. I stayed the same because I'm just like I'm tired of this shit. Look at my face. Why am I in their business? I was just in here doing my business. This around this day, this day, they were having a meeting. They came to Baba, or uh, excuse my language. They came to Ali Hilbish. Hey, if I call him Baba G, it's because I'm placing myself back in time in these moments. So don't don't say nothing if I say that, okay? So they went up to Ali Hill Bishop and was like, yo, we're having problems. Like they always do. They're having problems. Okay. All right. Cool. He's trying to work it out. She's telling him, telling, she's telling um, Eligio that he's not, Solar is not up to her standards, you know, all this other stuff. And I happen to just be walking in from cutting off my lock on the side of my head, my Nuwabian lock, more my Yan- my Yaninus lock. Okay. Because there was, Eligio was like, why are you walking around with that lock? Because someone brought it to his attention. The people online brought it to his attention that I had a, a Yaninus lock on my on the left or right side of my head. So I go off and I tried to burn it, but I couldn't burn it. All right. So I, I think I wanted to bury it. Couldn't bury it. So I just kept it in a foil paper or whatever. Came back inside, saw that they were doing a some kind of meeting. I'm going back to my business, going to the other room. Alihio Bishop calls me to their table for some godforsaken reason because I wasn't with them. I wasn't telling him I wanted to be with them. I was just chilling in the the house with the other wives of Alihio Bishop. And he comes and says, get into this meeting. So I, I go into the meeting and I'm I'm sitting there listening to everything. Then they have a, a Dr. Bishop video with all of us. And I'm just like, you're trying to hold yeah. you for your power and your own reasons because this is good for your ego. And that has something to do with your son. Yeah. Uh, Does that put things into perspective now? Does that put... The, hey, Medea. Shout out to Medea in the building. Does that... Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to do whatever I want. People, this is my life. All right, this is my life we're talking about. If it was you, you'd be standing up for yourself, okay? I don't want to hear, don't, Janae, don't do this, don't do that. Janae, Janae's going to do what she feels that she needs to do. Janae doesn't like the narrative. Janae doesn't like the, all the, the other energy. Janae knows how to take negative energy and make it to positive energy. Janae loves herself enough to explain what happened to Janae. Please don't, uh, and I appreciate y'all wanting to like, you know, love on me and everything like that, but I'm going to continue to speak the truth and my truth, the truth. And and that's fine. I think that's perfectly fine. If it was you, you would be doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I that's And that's okay. Am I, am I negatively affected by this? No, I'm, I'm joking with y'all, but I'm also telling y'all the truth of what happened. So y'all can see my face, clearly see the face I'm making. I'm like, I'm over this shit. Excuse my language, but I'm over this. Why put me back into this? Jupiter, I know a lot about you. And then you wanna add material for egotistical greed, greedy, Reasons. It's not a perspective. It's the truth. If you want to look deep down, down inside of yourself, is the absolute truth. That's because it makes no objective sense to take on that. Even Zoka. If there was no camera going, when we weren't online at all, I still did. What do you mean? Because you haven't, because you haven't developed. What do you mean if there wasn't no cameras? I don't, I don't need. Sorry if it's buffering, y'all. I, I probably have so much stuff. So, uh, to feel good. Hold up. I, Hold on. What do you mean? So I never so said, so no, I'm. Not.
it's how not about being, Zoka. It's not, not about it's Zoka. Not about that. It's about being like. Like Baba G. You want to be like Baba G so all right. So I got a lot of stuff going on here. I gotta take away all these tabs, I guess, because it is buffering like a mofo. But at least y'all know the backstory of why that was happening. Okay. Basically what happened is they was having a meeting on how she was getting upset and they were upset with each other, you know, um, about the relationship and he decides to go live about it. Boom, bam, sham, bam. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. As you can see, I don't see why I'm in this situation. That's why I am so off detached like i'm just like uh i'm sipping my wine because i'm tired of this shit as you can see you can see my face shift from the first dr bishop videos in puerto rico to now okay this was just ridiculous for me okay why are you always lying we weren't together at this time no we weren't and it wasn't a talk about getting together he just places me in there you know, I, I got tired of it. I'm like, why am I always putting their stuff? Like, is this scene all an act? No, it was not an act, Jody. I'm gonna let you know, it was not an act. It was just him just being Alihio Bishop and meddling and in, in doing too much, trying to stir up drama, start to stir up certain things and put me on the camera and put them on the camera for his views and whatnot. <laughs> So that's that's what happened. Everyone was just going on with the storyline, or the two of them really had the drama, had had drama, and threw it on on you. I'm telling you, they had drama. They had going on some drama, and I happened to just be walking in. He places me in the meeting, and then we go live about it with me just sitting there, like, why am I the fuck here? Excuse my language, but why am I here? That's exactly what happened. You could see it all in my face. Let's go ahead and just continue to look at my face. Let's go ahead and just look at my face. Because we already know what happened. We already listened to this video. If you haven't listened to it, you can listen, continue listening to it. But just look at my face as you keep going. That, that you keep the woman that are toxic for you. That's the issue here. It's the overview. It doesn't keep it in that area. It's obvious that this is not healthy, but you're willing to take it on just to feel like Baba G. He was trying to diminish any thought that Solar had of polygamy with me and him and Zoka. He was trying to make it seem like he, like he always be doing, like it's just a bad idea. So he could just get it through his head. He probably even tried to get him to get away from Zoka. So he could probably take Zoka at this time. But Zoka did something he didn't like, which was whisper or something in his ear. And what Zoka was whispering in his ear was something around the lines like, don't deny yourself. Basically, he was basically trying to tell him that if he likes me, make it be known. If, you want, if he wants to be with me, make it be known. Don't lie to yourself. That's what she was saying. But Bobby or uh, Eligio did not like that. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, I have an eight month old. So that's what really happened. Can I get a one in the comment box? Hey, sugar love, how you doing? Can I get a love in the comment box just to know, just to see if y'all understand the storyline or whatever? If the storyline means it's a fake thing, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this storyline word. If you understand the the gist of what happened, if you know what happened, put one in the chat. Now you know. So here's the thing about my the father of my child. And I'm not going to say anything bad about him right now. 
even though he does make my blood boil sometimes. What I'm going to say is sometimes he doesn't under, remember what happened and then he makes up things as he goes. And that's why it's so hard to trust what he says. Sometimes I'm just like wondering what he's saying. What is it? Is it truth or false? You know, because like I know when he talked about his baby, um, RIP baby love, you know, I'm pretty sure that was the truth. Because, you know, why would he have any reason to make up anything or lie about that? You can see, you can hear the sincerity in his voice. You can hear that he had this, the story all together and everything like that. But, you know, all the other stuff, I don't know. And I'm just going to have to just be honest, you know. You know, um, I pray for, for the best for him. And I pray he gets it together or whatever like that. But all this other stuff about the narratives about me and me fighting and stuff like that, that never happened. I never laid a finger on none one of them women, ever. Ever. The only thing I ever did was pulled off Malia's uh, head wrap that in that video and bear hugged her down so she doesn't leave. Bear hugged her down. Did you see me punch her? No, but you did see me verbally abuse her and that was not okay. I'm going to just say that for the record. I, that was not okay. When I look at that video, I don't even see myself, y'all. So it just makes me feel like, wow, like, who was that? I was so shocked and surprised like that the energy around that time that I was embodying was not me. But I thought you slapped Amelia. Everyone thought I slapped Amelia, but did you see that in the video? No, I never slapped her. I don't sit there and run up and, on, and done up on people. That's not who I am. That's never been who I am. <laughs> I got an angel for a baby, y'all. Y'all heard her an angel call? But anyway, why are you lying? All right, so since we're on a time schedule, let's go to one more video or was whatever. Yes, I sure did. What you sure did what, uh, Sugar Love? Yes, but in that time, I thought you were taking about accountability works. Absolutely, and I'll take accountability, absolutely. Um, I was upset. Oh, oh, let's go ahead. You guys want to know about that? That part? What actually happened at that day? So just put the backstory on it. You know what I'm saying? And Medea, shout out to you because, um, you know, I don't normally listen to Velvet's videos at all because I don't want to get upset about nothing. But I listened to Medea's uh, video with Velvet and she was telling a story about me. And let me, why are you always lying? That was not what happened. So I might do an episode two with that video, Medea. So stay tuned for that. But I might, if I feel up to it. But this is something I wanted to do because I want y'all to get the understanding and share this video, share this live, do commentaries on it if you want. So you can, people can get the truth of what really happened. Okay, let's see. I only saw Kayla slap her out of the blue. She did. Kayla and I think Zoka slapped her. You know? I think. The other women, we were, just, we were just being verbally abusive, which was not okay. And I take accountability for that. I apologize for that. I'd never in my life. Oh, my God. Carbonation has morphed me into some other being, I promise you. But this, I would never verbally abuse someone like that. And and I should have known what she was going through, but no one really, everyone blocked out the abuse. Everyone blocked out everything in carbonation. So I didn't really understand what she was going through. Now I understand. Homegirl was getting beat every, almost every day, almost every day, you know, raped almost every day. Maybe sometimes I know she didn't want to have sex. I know that, but she just gives it up, you know? Oh, sorry. Great. Ooh, shoot. I have to watch what I say. Um, homegirl was taking a, a, a role that she didn't want. She would constantly try to give up the role of queen to the woman. She was like, I don't want it. Take it. She would cry about it. She didn't want it. She was forced to being queen. So she was going through a lot. So let's go. Okay. If I can find that video, let me see if I can find it so we can talk about what actually happened with that. Because we didn't, she didn't deserve that. 
she was going through a rage because she was bottling up a whole lot of neglect and abuse and and also um other things with her child you know all that other stuff and i and i and i can understand that with uh, with uh tanisha malia i can understand that and i'm so apologetic about that and i'm so sorry that i ever said anything to you that was so bad malia uh tanisha because you didn't deserve that in that moment you didn't get deserve to be in the moment that she needed to be hugged which i tried to hug her i did i tried to hug her out her Let's call it demons. That's what I was trying to do at the time. But then when the women started coming up and she started to push me off of her, I got even mad. I'm like, look, I'm trying to help you. Don't go nowhere with your shoes off and, you know, like all this other stuff. I only saw myself being homeless when I looked at her. I'm like, no, don't go nowhere. Stay right here. And I tried to talk to her. That's when I thought to bring this uh, video up. That's when I tried to talk to her while I was bear hugging her down, not allowing her to leave because... And that's when she started yelling, I didn't like that, because she was expressing herself. She was telling me and telling us what happened, like why she's feeling that way. But when the women started coming up and started to surround her, she started getting angry all over again and started pushing me off. And I was like, man, fuck this. Excuse my language. So let me see if I can find that one. That's exactly what happened, y'all. That's what happened. And I'm going to tell you why she got so upset when I pulled this up. This is a very sub sensitive subject. And I know that this is very controversial because everyone kept telling me, um, you know, who has this video? Who has this video? <sighs> Shit, man, this is a very sensitive, sensitive, sensitive video. Oh God, this is a very bad video. Let me see. But I, I gotta, I gotta find it. The whole thing. The whole thing. Okay. I think I, I think I found it. You're doing so good, Mama. Okay. I found it. Whew. Goodness gracious, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a sensitive one, but we gotta give clarity about it. We have to, and I'm gonna take accountability for the the role I played in this one as well. You know what I'm saying normally, I'm not a violent person, but I was upset I was I was upset about this, and I'll tell y'all why. Let's go ahead and get into it, and I'm sorry, Malia, very sorry about it, all right. Oh my god. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry y'all. All right, let's go. No, we already So what you see happening right now is the women getting ready to leave. Okay. Yes, mama. So the women are getting to be getting everything ready for the king to head out and do whatever they were gonna do. Um, I don't remember if I was set up to leave, but um, I think that I was probably going to be in the back, either in the back or if I or I was staying. OK, I would say that's one part I don't really truly remember. However, we were all just getting ready to go. Leah, you got an attitude? No. What? I feel like every time we get on the camera, that's when we. I don't know. <laughs> I try to stick up for her so bad sometimes. I said, no, she don't have an attitude. We start talking about Malia's negative stuff. When we are not on the camera, Malia be doing amazing. When Malia be on camera, that's when Malia's negative stuff is talking about. Why is that, Malia? I don't know, because the people online, that's all they see, so that's what they're going to do. No, I'm not talking about the people online. I'm talking about your, your mood, your attitude. Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like I have a mood because I feel like... I don't feel like you should go with us today. I don't feel like I'm feeling your vibe. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go to your room. Because I, I literally was fine. To no, no, you, no. You wasn't fine, I, and you had been in a. Go back. Go ahead. Go to your room. Because I 
Because I, I literally was fine to no. keep. I don't know because the people online that's all they see so that's what they're gonna no, i'm not right talking now. about the people online i'm talking about your your mood your attitude yeah i feel like i feel like i have a mood because i feel like i don't feel, feel like you should go with us today i don't feel like i'm feeling your vibe yeah, yeah go ahead like, go ahead go to your room because i i literally was fine to no no you, no you wasn't as you can hear me in the background saying no no calm down like i'm not him, letting him know like it's okay like she's fine don't do that because she was just isolated for about seven days, I think. She was just isolated in her room. He likes to put her in a room and isolate her from everyone without communication, without anything really to do, but you know, just, you know, whatever she wanted to do, I guess, like sewing or, you know, all this other stuff. He would isolate her all the time. So she just got out of her isolation and she's about to go out with us. And he's trying to put her back upstairs in isolation because he thinks she got an attitude. And I'm just like, even if she does have an attitude, whatever like that, chill out. Because he was in there, if anyone remembers this live, this man was picking on her the whole time. He would big me up in this live, in this live. I don't remember if anyone remembers this exact live, but this man was bigging me up um, just the night prior, me and him. Um, he had sex with me the, the night prior. We had sex and all of a sudden, you know, um, he's telling everybody on the live how great it was, how pillows off my booty was, like it was pillows. I don't remember if anyone remembers. Let me know in the chat if you remember this, what happened before this live. Press one in the chat. So he um, was just basically, basically bigging me up the whole time. And, you know, I'm blushing and everything. And then he gets to Malia and starts calling Malia out on other stuff. And she's trying, she's smiling through it, trying to get herself through it, not trying to like, you know, blow up or anything. You know, she's been taking the hits, but he kept picking on her and just bigging me up while, you know, bringing her down. The the triangulation he does, the jealousy tactics that he does and the humiliation tactics he does. So of course she's feeling some type of way and he's feeling it and trying to pick at it instead of acknowledging that she's not trying to blow up. It's fine. And you haven't even apologized for what you did earlier. I I did apologize and we didn't move You didn't apologize, apologize and you're not apologetic in this moment. You don't feel like you sorry. A bitch can say I'm sorry out of her mouth and not be apologetic. It's about being apologetic to the universe. You're getting away with too much, man. You're getting away with too fucking much, Malia. You're spoiled. You need to take your ass to the room, take a time out. Bitch, I ain't about to vibe with nobody in my front seat that ain't got no positivity. Come on, you come in. Love. And that's and that's what I feel. I do feel like you been said. Well, you manifesting that. That's what you manifested. Look, you just manifested it. That wasn't all right. So y'all caught that, right? Y'all caught that. Um basically. Uh, basically, so he just pushed her out the front seat and put me in the front seat, meaning that I took the queen spot for the day. That's what he was basically trying to do and put her in isolation because around this time, remember, I don't know if y'all understand around this time, he wasn't allowing Malia to be on camera. He wasn't allowing her to be on camera because of this whole <laughs> tactic to get Velvet back or whatever, or something like that. I believe it was around this time. Yeah. So. Around this time, he was just, you know, having me, Sheba, excuse my language, me, Kendra, uh, Aya, uh, and all, you know, Porsche, all of them. We was doing these photo shoots and looking good and have, you know, uh, white, all white on, all my clothes and all white, you know, all of that. We was doing all that and just showing how royal, how royal the family was without Malia. Because they want, he wanted to, people to ask, including Velvet, you know, where's Malia? So she probably can come back, you know? So, and then he was saying he was prepping, prepping Malia to fight Velvet for the queen spot when she comes back. So it was just this whole plan before this. And she just finally got a chance to look good and go out with her beautiful self. Look how beautiful she looks, y'all. Like she was, man, she was radiating, man. And then he tells me to get in the front seat. So me at this time, I'm just going along with what he's saying for me to do, of course. And that's, and that's what I feel. I do feel like you've been saying. Well, you manifesting that. That's what you manifested. Look, you just manifested it. 
That wasn't you, but you just did. Give me the phone. You ain't got to care. Run out the door. Run out the block, then. Hey, hey, hey! Well, first of all, calm the fuck down. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. Hey, what? Really? Why are you doing this? So he told me, he tells me to take the camera and rec and record it. So I was like, oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. I, I wasn't about to defy him in that moment. And when he's mad. Hey, well, leave it. Please, please. Get the fuck Hey, what, really? Why are you doing this? Okay, well, leave him. Please, please. Get the fuck out there. Please. Get up here. I said that right here. What I said. Shut out. Oh, shit, man. Whew. All right, sorry, y'all. I just got triggered. Oh, God. Ooh, shit. Oh, God, that was crazy. How oh, I just got triggered. All right, all right, chill, chill out, chill out, calm down. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so, oh, goodness. It's okay. I'm okay. So, the, basically, what happened, she got pushed. Ooh, and I was, I was afraid about what was going to happen next. So, I literally, I didn't want to catch that on the camera. Cause whew, that would've been hell. So I turned the camera away. That was me. I turned the camera away so they don't get the abuse on camera. Uh, Sorry, I just um, that was triggering because he's he's abused her a lot. He's abused her a lot, and um, there was a lot of um, memories that just literally came out of nowhere of him abusing her. When I saw that push, all right, let's keep going. Come on, come on. Oh, really? Shut up, Are you And of course, it's always Malia's fault. We always turn against the person, right? And I'm at fault that this says too. I'm at fault with this too. We always turn against the person that's acting out. Like, oh, it's not, it's not a Lee Hill Bishop. It's the person. No, no, no. Even though in our, in our minds and our hearts, we feel as if it's something different, but we got to tell her to chill out because we know how he is. What is going on? That's her bad luck. Let her go. Let her go. Listen. Let her go. She's going to pay for that. Oh, my. Now, look. This is what I'm dealing with, bro. Was that, a, was that a mirror? Bro, let her go. Let her leave, man. Fuck that shit. I ain't got time for this shit. This is what I be dealing with. Watch out, man. She embarrassed me in front of my neighbors like that. Look, bro. I ain't got time for that shit. Where's she going to go? Where's she going to go? Man, when I tell you I was caring about what the hell was going on with her, I had no idea. I, this is the first time I see Malia get like that. So out of all the other times, I wasn't there if she's ever got like that. But this, when she went to this rage, I was just like, what's going on with Malia? Because I actually cared. Sorry. I actually cared about them women. Hey, now that shit's dumb, man. Fuck that shit. Nah, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Nah, man. That was crazy. She's supposed to do the work. She's supposed to do the work at the point. What is that? What are you talking about? Don't shit. 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 Don't now she out there She's out there yelling. yelling. No, get her. She can't be doing. They're gonna call the cops. Uh, get her. Why is she so mad like that? Come on, Janae. Why is she so mad like that? Come on, Janae. 
Come on, Janae. Why you gonna do this shit, really? No, it's the same thing, Malia. She, I don't know. That shit crazy. This is the first time. I've... Hey, just get her passport. Give me her passport. Give me her passport. Give me her, passport. Give me her ID. Let her go, bro. Let her get the fuck out. Let her go. I'm tired of this shit. So, you know, false imprisonment, right? He he always takes people's stuff so they can't really legitimately leave. But, you know, the charge is there for a reason, right? Let's go. Let's keep going. I'm done with it, bro. And they always try to make it seem like it's me, bro. I'm done with her, bro. I'm, done. I'm not going to have disrespect me no more, bro. Let's go. Just get her ID and get her shit. Let her go, bro. Get her she shit, keep bro. doing this. This shit, yo, she ran down the street, street butt naked one time. Bro, I don't build this shit no more, bro. She done broke a mirror, make a scene outside. And y'all niggas is just standing there. Like, what is wrong with y'all? I'm trying to figure out if y'all see me going, if you see us going through something, why are y'all standing in assembly? These niggas is still standing in assembly. They standing in assembly. They still standing in assembly. Like, I didn't like, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, Malia, just relax. Yeah, I want to go get it. You see what I'm saying? Like, them niggas is standing there, like, not doing nothing. It's the type of goofy shit I got around me, bro. For real, bro. And it should have set me. All right, so as you can see, it's always everyone else's fault. He just pushed her and kicked her out and saying, why are y'all standing around? Why, 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 why? And I'm just sitting here like, yeah, let's just go get her. Let's talk to her. Let's go get her. Bring her back home. Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Like, I'm sitting here like, man. And then I start getting mad even more because I had my own energy. I had my own um, personal, not energy. I had my own um thoughts about the situation. I thought that she was being jealous again because he kept, you know, he when he gives me attention, she doesn't like it. So, but around this time, she was trying not to care and he kept picking at her, you know? So I thought she was just getting jealous. And I'm just like, man, we all in polygamy. You're the queen. You don't have nothing to worry about. This is my, my thoughts on the situation. So, when he's sitting here saying like, oh, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? I'm thinking to just go get her. Like, so when he tells me to go get her, I run off after her. But here's the thing. I started getting mad because I'm just like, she's screaming. She's going to get us in trouble. We kept getting the cops called on us all the time. They're going to call the cops on us again. That's my mindset. I'm trying to protect the king and protect the family. So I get mad. I start saying she want the ones. <laughs> like, like I'm getting pissed off. Like, yo, you better chill out because you're gonna get the the one ones. That's what you finna about to get. Because that's what happens in the cult. You know what I'm saying? Not for not for me though. Like the fuck, I don't really I don't fight. But of course I'm sitting here, I'm mad like everyone else. No mama, don't touch that. I'm mad like everyone else, and I'm just saying things like everyone else. So let's keep going. Me up to get that, that that something wrong with me. Now, when my daughter was involved, I was wrong because I was dealing with a girl like that. I had my daughter, and she would run outside. She, that would do the same shit right now that you're seeing. Yeah, she would do this with my child, mm -hmm. with the bro. And then it was like, yo, what is you doing? You're not gonna walk up with my baby, and the shit escalated. She do just what Malia doing and go wild out and just say, fuck this thing, because she just didn't get her way, bro. This is what it is, bro. And look, like I said, bro, I'm, I'm done with it. It's over. Wow. Give her her passport and shit. Let her walk up the block. Let her go. She's at the door. Give her a I'm gonna give her a shit. Sweetheart, I got your stuff right Chill here. Chill out, yo. Stop doing all that because you have Malia, to go stop. Stuff. What's wrong with you? Think about what you're doing, Malia. Malia, think about what you did in a moment. It was just a moment, man. You wilded out in a moment. You killed yourself in a moment, sweetheart. In a moment. No. You still in front of my neighbors. I gotta live here. It's the three. <laughs> oh. Sorry. He <laughs> said what? It's we are. It's a simulation. In a moment. In a moment. You still in front of my neighbors. I gotta live here. It's the three. It's not it's not a laughing moment for real, but he said it's the three. Y'all. Y'all. Oh man. All right, man. Just keep going.
It's the three, man. You can't do this at this house. It's the three. The house of the three. Oh, Bro, your passport is right here. We grabbing it. What is you this doing? Is you no breaking glass for what? This is her passport. This is her passport. There we go. Oh, she won the ones. Is this all her stuff? Make sure none of my that's, stuff in there. Man. I, I can't can't check it. Look, let me make sure they, they, they know she got her stuff. It's a lot. I'm glad this happened in live, bro. It's supposed to happen. That's mad disrespectful. She ain't thinking in the moment. She, you already know what she's about to go do. Yeah. Just come right back. She Don't do this to her, down, bro. Calm down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Just give her a shit. Let her go, bro. Yeah. Look, we giving her her shit. Look, give her your shit, man. Just go. Oh hell! Chill, no. chill, 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 chill. Let her go. Hey, hey, Zoka, chill out, bro. It's in there. Just Zoka, get over here, Zoka. Zoka, get over here, Zoka. Get over here, Zoka. Let her get it out. Let her get it out. She just wild. Bro. She gonna get us in trouble, bro. Man, she gonna whip her ass. Yo, fuck her. No, no, stop that. That's crazy, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Do your thing. Do your thing, man. Come on. Take the camera. Take the camera. Take the camera. Fuck that. Keep that shit up. Uh, take that go out there, man. No, 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 no. I'm not too deep. Oh man, it didn't go further. Hold on, let me see. All right, so that's like the first half. And then if I can find a video of us, hold on, let me get my daughter right. All right, so, whew. yeah, so he did, he sent them to get her, all right, so that's what happened, he sent us to get her, that's what I heard, but he did say something else, I didn't hear that all that, I heard the go get her, so I went to go get her, um, and around this time, and I, I tell my therapist this all the time, this story is crazy to me, how this happened, so Around the time, as I'm getting further and further away from the house, and I'm getting closer and closer to her, I keep trying to talk to her. Like, yo, what's going on? Like, da 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 Like, come on. Like, are you okay? da 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 And then uh, she stops, and she starts talking. So then I get, get, got up to her, and I start hugging her down. But this, this hug was a bear hug to where she can't let go. She can't leave until she's speaking it out, and I'm talking to her in her ear. But that, that part wasn't really um, recorded. What y'all seen was me bear hugging her down. He did, He said something, but what I heard at that moment was go get her. He said something else, but I forgot what he said. But he said go get her or something. So I went ahead and go get her. But so what happened, like I said before, what happened was as I'm trying to talk to her, she's expressing herself and expressing um, the demons that's coming out of her. Y'all can hear that the possession coming out of her. She's screaming from the top of her lungs, telling me that she didn't she didn't get complimented by him all day and it didn't feel good. All that, right? And let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I'm trying to figure out, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find this at the same time. Find the other the other one. So just give me one second so we can finish this up. This right here was the craziest time I've seen Malia get down like that. So hold on, I found it, I found it. Oh no, 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 what's going on? Let's see, so loyal at this time. For so Loyal at this time got the phone and he can't, he catch ups with us. And you can see the circle around her. 
She started to push me off of her, so I dragged her head wrap off as she's um, she's walking away. You have nowhere to go. You don't want that. And I'm sorry, you know, this shit crazy to me. Okay. I'm sorry, you know, this. Alright, I'm gonna keep going, but this is triggering as fuck. <laughs> and I talk to my therapist about this part this time all the time. I swear, I swear, I wish I would have did things different. Uh, I, swear, I don't feel like I was myself at all. And I tried to like I tried to keep her there because I really cared about her. I didn't want her to go. I was mad because I kept seeing the jealousy play out with the polygamy. And I'm like, I don't want Charter to be jealous of me. Nothing. Oh All right, let's keep going. I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. Let me keep going because we got to get through this shit. Y'all need to know what happened for real in the backstory. So... All right, so the women caught up and they're instruct I they're instructed to fight, but I didn't want to fight. But I get upset because I'm listening to her and I'm just like, what are you talking about? Like you're the queen, like you're the one who gets most of the attention. Like I don't even care about that. I want to be with Solar anyway. Like come on, like just keep going with the thing keep going with the queen thing you're okay he likes you he adores you all this other stuff but i didn't realize she was getting neglected i didn't realize that abuse was getting to her for real because around that time we just saw it as her taking the hits for our ancestors you know and we would tell her how strong she is and all this other stuff so oh, So around that time, you don't have to fight nobody. That's what I was trying to tell her. And then Loka is trying to incite the fight, saying, I'm going to punch your ass. So she gets getting upset. She starts getting upset. I'm glad I'm doing this. Because y'all need to know. Wow, homegirl threw that shit. I did not know that. They threw her phone at her. Kayla going ham. That was, I think it was Kayla and Zoka, but Here's the thing about Kayla, she does that so she, so a Lehio Bishop can look at her as the one. I gotta, I gotta, ooh, I have to do this other video. I gotta show y'all why they're programmed like this. 
Elihu Hill Bishop wants people to turn on the person that's turned on him. And if he, if she's looked at as the one who jumps on him and, and hits him because and Elihu Hill Bishop incited and told the women to hit each other uh, for him, if she gets looked at as that, she gets praised. So that, I think that's why she really moved like that for real. Cause why would she go off and like thrash her like that? <laughs> this time um y'all y'all seen it y'all see it he said he said he said he she said she said oh he ain't complimenting her all day he comes he comes like he can do the most fucking dick he can do the most fucking Who got a who got a phone on him? Who got a phone on him? No, none of y'all got your phone on you. That's why. Are you mad? I'm crazy, bitch. So go back to the mad. I'm crazy. Cause I'm mad on your face for what fucking reason, my bitch? You said what? You said you're mad at high school. To the what? To the man? I said out the house. I said the house. Bitch, you're the street. First part, don't call. Got no phone on you? No. Uh. That's why she keeps doing it. She's over here. She's gonna come back. I mean. <laughs> So um, I let that shit run, run its course. So y'all could see the whole thing. We did. I did try to hug her. I did. It didn't work. I started getting mad and I started regurgitating exactly what Elikia Bishop says all the time to her and to us. She gets the most fucking, excuse my language, but I'm about to get vocal, vulgar, all right? Um, she gets the most fucking dick. All the attention, don't she? And I, I'll show you where he says that. I'll show you. She gets the most attention. She gets the most dick. She gets the most love. She gets the most sex. Um, and in carbonation, sex is love. 
So, um, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> so basically, you saw me screaming at her because I was fed up. I was upset about the whole jealousy within the polygamy dynamic. This wasn't a shout because I was jealous. It was a shout just to get her to understand you don't have to be this way. You get all of the attention. I don't even fucking want it. I wanted the attention of Solar. I wanted to be with Solar. So for her to just get like this after he gets me attention and you know, had sex with me the night prior and, you know, getting upset about certain things. Like he didn't compliment her all day. I'm just like, so what? Some of this, some of the other women don't get complimented. Some of the other women don't get sex. They, and they take it. But I didn't realize that me saying all these things was so insensitive. And like I said, um, Aliyah Bishop influenced all of us. Yeah. That wasn't me. That was not me. I'm not going to claim that that part of me is me, no. I did those things, but the definitely I was influenced by the energy of the Bishop, especially considering I just had sex with him the night prior. I'm gonna take accountability for playing a role in that, but I know for a fact, I stand before you another woman and clear as day, not that girl. And I'm so apologetic about that. I would never in my life ever, ever do that, ever again. I'm so sorry, Tanisha. I'm so sorry, Malia. We could have treated you better in that moment. Everyone was angry. Everyone was feeling some type of way and everyone wanted to please the master in some type of way. I know I wanted to speak to Malia and try to hug her out of whatever she was doing so she didn't have to go, but Things didn't go that way. And I also got, took my anger out because I was furious about how so much triangulation was happening in the polygamy. So, you know. So that's, that's what happened. Um, let's go ahead and see what I'm talking about when I say Saying the same thing, the exact same thing as Alihia Bishop. Hold on. Huh? No, you guys make another one for that. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to find it. Uh, next time for the next episode, I'll be more um, prepared because I went everywhere with this, but I wanted y'all to know what actually happened. And that wasn't right for any of us to do, y'all. I, I spent, sorry, I'm not going to cry. Chill out. Um, <laughs> sorry. I spent like sessions like in my therapy going over this this whole day man i'm trying to figure out like why did i like do her like that like and what i explained to y'all is what i came up with speaking to my therapist about things y'all like that wasn't me yo i'm not gonna claim that as me like that's not a part of who i am that's not my energy yo All right, hold on. Let me um All right, let's go. Gave my clothes to y'all, so we all share the same yeah, because clothes. Girl, okay. But well, well, who gets treated special? I do. You don't? I said I do. You don't get treated special. I said I do. You 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 don't seem like you feel like you do, bitch. You ungrateful. That's why you about the treatment. 
Do you dress in the best clothes? We all, we all got fashion. Nah, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm being hungry. Yes. Why? She can't do it. Please come save her. This was after I left. This is the backstory of it. This is after I left and served him papers. She get treated the best, don't she? Malia get all the dick, don't she? Yes. Don't you, Malia? You get treated the best. You get most attention out of all the girls, don't you? Why you give me most of the problems? Look at this, look at this, look at the scenario, y'all. Who get the most attention out of the group? Yes, Press three if you see Malia get all the fucking attention out of all the women. She get most of my love. Now tell me, is Malia ungrateful? Is Malia ungrateful? Yes. Malia, are you ungrateful? I'm being ungrateful, yes. Why? Because you it's want attention. No, I don't give a fuck. It's a spiritual journey, but they get less attention. But they don't give me they don't give me more problems. They're the ones supposed to be acting up. They're rubbing my feet right now. Bitch, what are you doing? No, what I'm saying, I don't give a fuck about no iPad. I'm asking you a question. Why are you the one with the attitude when you get all the dick? Do you get all the dick? What you mean you think you do? I said I do. What you mean you think you do? No, I said I didn't say I think I do. I said I do. So what was, what was the other guessing? You remember your breath? You said I think I do. At first I said I don't think I do, but then I said I do. You don't think you do? Who gets more dick than you? I do. You get more dick than you do. Wait, what? <laughs> How much dick do you get out of all the girls here? Do you get an exceptional amount of extra dick? Mm -hmm. Do you get extra treatment? Do you dress in the best clothes? We all, we all got fashion. Nah, bro. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Who got the best clothes out of everybody? Where you that dress from? Right. See how ungrateful the whole is? She gonna act like it ain't true. No, because we all, I literally gave my clothes to y'all. So we all share the same yeah, clothes. Yeah, because, girl, okay. We but but, but who gets treated clothes. special? I do. Listen, oh. You don't? I said I do. You don't get treated special. I said I do. Truly. You 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 don't seem like you feel like you do. Bitch, you ungrateful. That's why you're about to lose your spot. When you lack gratitude, you lose what you have. And you have lacked gratitude. And that's why you're on the way out. You're ungrateful, ho. Don't nobody owe you shit. Don't nobody owe you shit, Malia. You got to work in real life. You're not that beautiful that a nigga gonna bag on you. You're not that bad. You just not. I mean, being all the way honest with you, a nigga ain't gonna bag on you the way I'm doing. A nigga ain't gonna. Exactly. See, the, see how ungrateful the hoe is? She gonna act like it ain't true. No, because we all, I literally gave my clothes to y'all. So we all share the same yeah, because, clothes. Girl, okay. But, we all but, but who gets treated clothes. special? I do. Listen, you know. Oh, he ain't complimenting her all day. He comes to the most fucking shit. He gives the most fucking attention. He's fucking disrespectful. Bro. He gives the most fucking attention. Bro. He gives the most fucking attention. It's the same thing. It's the same words. Regurgitating what he says. Telling her over and over, telling us over and over, she gets the most things, she gets the most attention, she gets the most love. It's programming, man. 
This is what I came up with in therapy. Like I was programmed to say these things. The ungrateful is always about being ungrateful, ungrateful, ungrateful. So that's that's the truth. That's the whole truth and nothing but the truth. That's what happened. If there's anything else I'm missing, y'all, just go ahead and ask about it in the comment box if y'all need to know anything else. <sighs> that was uh, a lot. But Nature Boy has ingrained in us that sex is love, dick is love. And um, because we thought, and he would say, because Malia get the most sex, <clears throat> and in his words, the most dick, that she gets the most love. Now, it doesn't mean I was jealous about that. No, 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 no. I Honestly, y'all, I wanted to be with Courtney. I wanted to be with Solar. I just appeased the king because no one says no to the king. He was my creator, he was my deity, he was my God. So I followed in suit and took whatever position he told me to do, whether it's be Malia's slave or be the appointed photographer, excuse me, for photographer or videographer or telling them how, showing the people, the women how to dress or how to do their makeup, you know, helping the women with their clothes. I did anything he told me to do. So, yeah. All right, let's let's lighten the mood. I'm gonna look at these comments. Um, it was it was it was a trying time in, in carbonation. Everyone wants to say their words and say what they want to say about it, and you know. But you gotta know the real. You gotta know what happened behind the scenes and why things happen that way. And I'm willing to tell you from the best way I can without, you know, disrupting what actually happened, like, and throw in a little bit of hair and there is like Courtney, like that literally triggered me to do this because literally what Courtney was saying happened, didn't happen. This is what happened. Of course, the man is gonna have a different perspective than the women. Of course, uh, the man is going to have a whole nother reality from the women. But to say other things that didn't happen, Courtney, that's not what we're doing. We're going to say the truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth over here. So who's live? Because I see a lot of people leaving. Who's live right now? <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. The peace, the peace you see can only be given to you. Healing can begin. Thank you. I could never understand why people were condoning this in the comments, sick. Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see, what caused Malia to be hospitalized and almost die? That was so scary. I'm glad that Tanisha didn't die in the tent like Mama Dia. Me too, I'm glad she didn't die. Um, around that time, I wasn't in carbonation, but what I, from what I've observed and heard, and even when I first joined carbonation, um, she had a, a side, a pain in her side. She kept talking about this pain. When I first joined combination, she kept talking about this pain in her side and her stomach. And uh, it could be one of her ovaries or whatever. I don't know, but it was her organ. I think they said there was some fluids that they had to drain from her liver or something. Um, yeah, she always had this pain in her stomach. And he would always say it's coming from her demons and her inability to um, submit to him and you know, coming from, you know, resistance, you know, within the tribe and within the cult. So she would just basically ignore it or try to ignore it. But it was pain. Um, I remember this one time when I first was in carbonation and I was just coming from like being out in nature all the time and traveling to Thailand and, you know, doing all these other things. I was just fresh out of being so connected with God um, and, and my intuition. 
and my visualization. So basically what happened, we had a, a, a meeting in the basement and um, Velvet was there with, uh, with Eliana, the, the daughter, and he just discarded Malia, you know, to the side. And Malia was just smiling, acting like everything was normal and everything like that. You know, it's just okay to be on the side. It's okay to, you know, you know, not be a wife anymore after having so much attention from him and all this other stuff. Um, you know, I guess Velvet didn't want her in the relationship anymore or something like that. Um, this is what I, as far as I can remember because they were now doing monogamy again. But before then, like a week prior, they were all together. Her, him, her, uh, Malia, Ali Hill, Malia, and Velvet were all together a week prior. But then when I got to Carbonation, she was not longer, no longer with him. And it's because Velvet was just like, she doesn't like Malia. And this is what Velvet told me when I first got into Carbonation. You know, she didn't like Malia and she wanted me, Velvet wanted me to be in the polygamous relationship with her her and Eligio because she didn't like Malia and she'd rather have me in it. She almost started breaking down crying. Granted, she was drunk around this time, but anyway, I digress, right? Um, so around this time I was looking, I was looking at Malia. She was just all smiling, but when I placed my hands on her, I placed my hands on her and I saw all these demons around her. I swear, I kid you not. I saw demons in the window. Um, whew, and I felt her pain and I started hearing all this noise, like screams. When I placed my hands on her, I felt all this and I seen all this. And I had to let them know in the meeting, she's in hell. I let them know that she's in hell right now. And um, and that's what I, cause that's what I saw and that's what I felt. But she was like, she was just smiling through it. And I told them in the meeting that you know, she had a miscarriage because she did around that time. He she was getting pregnant by a nature boy, but he would always like spiritually cancel out the baby because Eliana or Velvet was there or something. Like he would always like, you know, discard. He would try to get people women pregnant get them pregnant and discard of the, the the baby in this way. I don't know how to explain it spiritually, but it's very, very demonic how it's done. And that's what happened to baby love. He would speak on it and things will happen. So she, Malia had a miscarriage around that time and um, she was going through the pain of also not having her child. So that's what happened, y'all. No one knew about this, did y'all? No one known about this information right here, but nah, that, you know, that's what happened. Um, like, there was a lot of abuse on Malia, including with, uh, you know, Velvet. She was abusive towards Malia as well. So, I mean, but granted, uh, Velvet was always being abused as well. So I'm not gonna point fingers on no one. Everyone had abuse in that situation. And it's not, there's nothing commendable, honestly. And my heart goes out to everyone who was ever abused in this cult and by a legal bishop, because it wasn't granted. It wasn't, it wasn't fair. Uh, let's see. Okay. It says, I think he had Aya put something in their food, just my opinion. I'm going to cancel that right there. No. She's just a cook. She just cooks. So there's no Aya putting stuff in their food or nothing like that. No, that's not what happened. Um, I, and I want to cancel any, you know, ridiculous rumors because it, it, it does get brought up a lot. A lot of these rumors and everything. Bring them to me. Bring them to me, please. Let me clear it up for you. Um, yeah, Malia misses her son so son, son, but is so loyal to Bishop and is torn. Yeah, and it and it was making eating up her inside. Even now, as you can see, it's eating up her inside. It's eating her up inside, y'all. Y'all can see it on her. Literally, she's getting eat up inside by the thoughts, the guilt, the wanting to escape but can't. 
wanting to go back to her son, wanting to go, she has a chance to, but she's not doing that. Why? Because of fear, of guilt, of shame, humiliation. Everyone doesn't understand, like, we can't just leave whenever we want to. He severed ties with our family. He severed ties with with source. So we don't, we're, we're kind of like, kind of figuring out what to do. Like, we don't have an internal guide anymore. He let us, he made us listen to his videos at night to the point where he, he gets in our subconscious mind and he's the voice. He tells us to make the voice in our heads his voice. So the voice in their heads are probably his voice by now. Y'all not getting that. So it's going to take some time and it's going to take some strength from them and also from us to push, you know, like, hey, you're free. You know, I want you to know that you're free. You don't have to do anything he says anymore. We want to show you real, true love. But they're not getting that from the, the collective. They're not getting that from the audience. They're getting a lot of hate from the audience, a lot of bashing. And, of course, so they're going to think, all right, well, we can't go over there. But if we start showing them love and affection and compassion, like, look, I understand you. We listen to Rick Ross, Alan Ross, and I understand you. We listen to Amanda Plancher, and I understand you. We listen to Janae Alexandria, and we understand you. We listen to Aaron Dixon, and we understand you. We listen to Kendra Carter, and we understand you. Please come home. We understand you. That would possibly help in the situation. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, yeah, that's, 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 that's it, man. Malia had an affection that stayed in her body too long, according to her family. Yeah, you got to remember. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, his, his, his semen didn't smell right, y'all. Leo Bishop's semen does not smell too pleasant. Okay, I'm just going to let you know that. And I'm glad I didn't have a, ever have to take a download, you know in that way, orally, you know, it didn't smell too good. So I, I would, and I wouldn't imagine that, you know, being came in every day because he didn't believe in pulling out. You know, remember that they don't believe in pulling out. So being came in every day through oral or vaginal or even through sodomy, you know, all those things. Um, I, I can only imagine the type of infections one would have, especially if they're mixing around with not just women, but men, transgender women, you know? So yeah, that's why she got sick possibly. And then her organs were rearranged because he kept tossing her everywhere, abusing her, you know? Um, let's see, there was another one I wanted to see. What do you see for the remaining girls? Do you think they'll stick around? I'll just have a better vision. I'll just uh, believe in my heart and see in my mind, my my, and continuously to meditate in my third with my third eye. Uh, a better vision for them going them going to their family Kayla with her mom and her aunt and her grandmother doing her soaps doing whatever helps her you know cope with that seeing Poche possibly modeling somewhere because she's a damn good model seeing Malia with her son happy smile oh that that's a beautiful vision oh my god just seeing her with her son happy smiling giggling laughing with her chinky eyes and big cheeks glowing cheeks you know those type of things i want to envision for them i love that i love that it makes my heart chakra glow seeing that so if we can all see that for them real true genuine love for them that would help the process i believe um Let's see. Wow, this is such a deep explanation and gives clarity on this. I'm glad that this gives um, clarity on the entire situation because that's what I'm here to do. I'm not here to like hold y'all and everything like that. But since we're all, all y'all, a lot of, a lot of y'all are 
watching and continuously commentary, doing commentary, I'm gonna do my own. I'm gonna do my own commentary and I'm gonna tell you the truth. And I'm gonna give you a deeper explanation and, and, and give clarity on what actually happened so y'all can understand and not just assume, you know? This is what happened. And I pray that this platform grows to the thousands, if, if anything, so people can have an understanding about carbonation and not have this generalized, you know, ill, negative perspective about the members, you know? What are your, th I, I'm gonna leave that alone. <sighs> I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna leave that alone because I don't want no one talking about keep my name out your mouth when the name wasn't even in my mouth. I'm gonna chill out. <laughs> um, I already answered that one. I'm trying to get to y'all questions. All right. Your commentary on these videos is super important. And, I'm, and I appreciated that, Crystal. I told myself I wasn't going to talk really or do interviews like that or nothing like that until like April 1st. And um, also, if you guys want to know more about what happened, please order my book, Lesson Learned. Order the book, Lesson Learned, y'all. Um, it's called Lesson Learned, Wisdom Granted by the Divine by Janae A. Newell. If you want to get a copy of that and I go deeper in depth about what happened, you can go ahead and go into my, oh, look at that, 144.14. Go on to my um, Instagram. Go into my Instagram, Janae.Alexandria. Um, and also you can send your payments for the book to my cash app, Materi Janae. I am doing candle and book packages as well. I go, I go deeper in depth with clarity about carbonation and all my experiences dealing with narcissists and energy vampires and, you know, uh, the devil, <laughs> basically. Like, I, uh, this things that people need to watch out for when it comes down to these pred predators, you know. You show, sympathy, you show empathy for all of them, even the ones that aren't your friends. Of course, I love them. That's true love. Y'all don't understand how far this love has been shown for them. And they don't understand that. But they will one day. I love them. And that's where Ali Hill Bishop fucked up. He fucked up when he allowed me in because I fell in love with the whole tribe. Not just a solar. I loved them all. Um, so put hearts in the chat for them, y'all. Because they still going through it. And um, it's an emotional battle for everyone. And that one, I, that I could see. But if we put some hearts in there for them to know that they're not alone in the hurting process, not they're not feeling pain by themselves, and they're allowed to be free, they're allowed to go and do whatever they want to take their lives back and not just give it to someone. Because we were told, y'all have to remember, we were told that giving our lives away to him was the ultimate mission on earth and that's not the truth we were told that like all the time possibly every week that you had to give uh, we had to give our lives to him just like jesus christ they would say give your life to jesus christ we had to give our lives to elihia bishop because elihia bishop was the christ to us the messiah the one and only you know he was a higher realm being you know so yeah um that's that's basically, you know, the mindset that it was on. And remember, um, the reason why a lot of women wanted to get pregnant in a carbonation is because is because Alihio Bishop's teaching spoke that women's only purpose was to get pregnant and produce ch children on the earth and cook and clean and take care of their their man, be submissive to their man. So with that mindset. A lot of us wanted to, um, a lot of us wanted to uh, fulfill that mission and pick the one that we wanted to procreate with. And that happened to be Solar with me. I wanted to procreate with Solar at that time. Not anymore. I have my, I have my daughter and I see what he's, where he's at as a, as a father. And 
which is you know zero to nine. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm good on that. But um, at the time when I was in Ali Hill Bishop's teachings and um, indoctr- indoctrinated with the teachings, I believe that my purpose was to be with the man and to procreate and to fulfill a purpose together and take care of him and all this other stuff. So, and that led back to 2017 when I first was in the teachings of Elihia Bishop. So that's why y'all saw my journey with trying to, you know, be, have, be in love, not having sex all willy nilly with these men, but wanting to be in love and wanting to have a relationship and build something with these men. Because that's what I was indoctrinated with, that belief system. So if you can understand that, you can understand Materi. Now, Janae have a whole nother mindset. <laughs> Janae have a whole nother mindset. Janae is good what she's at and all that good stuff. But let's go ahead and um, get into these comments again. Everything you do is to simply promote this book. You wasn't there long enough for a book. This was clout and a way to get money. This is sick. All right, Amanda, let's go ahead and challenge that because I'm, I'm on the challenge certain things. I challenge my leaders all the time. So you're 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 definitely just an ant to a giant. All right, Amanda, let's go ahead and say this. You said you said everything you do is simply to promote, to promote this book. I'm going to continue to promote this book. Whether you guys like it or not, whether you like it or not, Amanda, I'm going to continue to promote this book. This is a book sent from me from God. I wrote this and prayed over it with God in mind and God in my heart. Definitely a lot of channeled messages are in this book and it can help a lot of people, a lot of generations. It can stop a lot of things and it can bring awareness to these types of situations and how to put you, get yourself out of them once you're in them. So yeah, I'm gonna promote the heck out this book. Excuse me, I'm gonna promote the fuck, excuse my language, out this book. And be mad, be mad because it's not your mission, it's mine. And I'm gonna complete it. So lesson learned y'all, you know, I'll go ahead and pre-order the book, hit my, my um, Instagram, cause I'm gonna promote it. Yes, absolutely. Because there's a, a lot of information that's gonna help the collective in there. I wrote it with that in mind. So you don't, don't give me that. You wasn't there long enough for a book. I surely was. I was following Elihu Bishop since 2016, 2017. I was a fringe member before I became a, a real member. So I had both sides. I had both spectrums that you might want to consider and might want to look into because anyone can be a fringe member before they become a real member. And that's when you need to watch out for it. That's what you need to watch out for by following in something before you join something very toxic and damaging to your life. So absolutely, I got the wisdom for that too. So let yeah, go ahead and promote me some more. Uh, go ahead. This was clout and a way to get money. Absolutely not. But you know what? There's nothing wrong for me trying to profit off of my 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 pain because I turned my pain into power. There's nothing wrong with me trying to show the way and also getting compensated for it from the universe and from God. God said, "This is what I need to do. This is my purpose." So naturally. Naturally, I'm going to get compensated for it. Naturally. I don't have to do anything. All I had to do was write the book and people's going to want it. Because you know why? Because this God is all up in it. God is all up in it. So keep trying it for me if you want. You got to step up to a real goddess. You got to know who I am. I'm not playing with y'all. I'm not playing with Elihio Bishop. I'm not playing with anyone. I'm not even playing with myself. That's why I'm going so hard on this. Please, yes, get the book, read, understand, cry, let it out, heal. Because that's the intention for the book is for all of us to heal from this shit. So you can think of it as sick as you want to. I think of it as divine. And that's what I'm going to say about that. So. Mm-hmm. No worries. You can be banned. There you go. All 
All right. So I pray y'all enjoy it. Yeah. I just block people out now. That's it. I don't care. Y'all can have an opinion somewhere else. The facts over here, sweetheart. I so dig how the judge is not allowing me to. All right, I'm I'm done here, y'all. And just like that, poof, be gone. Exactly. So say something smart if you want. Say something. No, not even smart. Dumb. Say something dumb if you want. You don't have to be here. You you're you are damaging our brain cells by being over here, sis. <laughs> Thank you, BB, for the um, the payment on my book. I see it in the cash app already. So, yeah, go ahead and get the book, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all love it. It's going to be everywhere. And be mad if you want, but also be glad that it's everywhere because it's going to actually help a lot of people. I really, I really want that. I really, really want that. So I love y'all. I'm not going to make that as long as it needs to be. Or maybe we should just go until two hours. What do y'all think? I'm going to go into two the hours and answer the questions in a comment box. But, you know, <laughs> I love when people get to see who I am and who I truly am, you know, like, come over here. This is a safe space. You know, it's an awesome space, but we don't take any bullshit from anyone anymore. That's something that I've learned to do. You know, uh, I talked a lot of bullshit from a lot of people, especially around my pe pregnancy. I took I, I had to learn how to have better bound boundaries because I was pregnant and I wanted uh, a safe place for me and my child. So now I don't allow the, the bullshit to like penetrate, you know. So if you're coming over here, just believe you don't have to be here if you say something dumb and I'm going to address it. Like I always do. <laughs> Thank you, BB. I'm excited to read it. I'm excited for y'all too to read it. I'm gonna sign it, and if you purchase when you purchase the book from me, I'm gonna sign it and everything like that. Now, there's some people who had bought it from Amazon, <laughs> and I didn't see that. I had to I had to like take it off of the shelf because. It wasn't ready. <laughs> it wasn't ready. So the people, there's people who got the book already, but it's not um, finalized. I mean, I wrote it and I finalized it myself, but someone else is also editing it for me. So make sure it's completely perfect, you know, but um, thank you. I, I appreciate that. I don't know how to make moder moderators on the live. I don't know how to make them people... Not I can't do it on StreamYard. I would have to do it on a on a um if I do a video and y'all come on my video and you know I do I throw a wrench at you. Cool, I want mine to be signed. Awesome. Please do get them signed because you never know where I'll be next year. <laughs> Unless I tell you, you know. Listen to Zoka sounding like a big bully. Yeah, uh, it's okay though. She, I think she was sweet before this whole situation. Honestly, I don't know. She, everyone was told to bully each other. So, whatever. I appreciate all the love in the comment box. I appreciate all y'all, all my day ones, a ones since day ones. I appreciate y'all. I see y'all in the chat. I see Gwen. I see BB. I see lovers. I see Slim Classy. I see you, girl. Thank y'all so much. I really appreciate y'all. All my day one since A1 Crystal, I see, I've been seeing you around as well. Um, let's just have a wonderful day, y'all. I have certain things I have to accomplish uh, in 30 minutes. Um, we're just gonna leave it at this. Uh, I try to make it two hours, but you know it doesn't necessarily have to be two hours. I love y'all too, Slim. I love y'all too. Y'all are awesome. Y'all have always been awesome. Hit me up on Instagram. Go to my Instagram. Get the book. It's funny how I only like mentioned the book like twice or once after. After I mentioned it once, I started saying, yeah, I'd get the book. But it's all for the clout, right? <laughs> y'all are silly. Y'all want to believe I'm this clout chasing woman. I don't need to clout chase. I don't. It doesn't. That doesn't <laughs> happen. I don't clout chase. I don't. What I do is be myself and I get attention for that. 
and people are mad because of that. And it's okay. It's fine. I love y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day. And I will see y'all later. Hit me up in the inbox. Um, the, hit my um, hit my uh, Instagram. The cash app is Nateri Janae. If y'all want me to just... And also, if you guys want me to go in on the next episode on what really happened, um, on something that you want me to explain, let me know. Send me the video and say, look, I loved your episode on what really happened. I would love for you to explain this. All right. And Medea, I see you in the chat, Medea and Lisa. Shout out to Medea and Lisa. Says what? Y'all are the real ones. Love y'all. Have a wonderful day. Talk to y'all later. Peace, peace. Hey yo, if you enjoy this content, please support the channel whack. And no, yeah, don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms, especially Rumble, because I can put content on there that I can't put on YouTube. So please support that. I will I will put my beacon link in the in the description box. That way you can follow me on all social media, Discord, Facebook, Web, Twitter, wherever. You can follow me wherever. Please support the movement. CV Killer Forever.